On this episode of Real Life Adventures, JC and Tucker are joined by their friend Mop for a day on the water targeting Yellowtail Snapper on the reef. During their adventure, the boys got an emergency call from the local turtle hospital and assist in capturing an injured turtle off Duck Key. After their rescue mission, they visit the hospital to check out their operation and some of its patients. I look good, I feel good. It's another day in the Florida Keys, but the weather isn't cooperating as well on JC and Tucker's day off. Despite the unfavorable fishing conditions, the boys try to make the best of the opportunity and head out to the reef for some yellowtail snapper and other bottom fish. Before they head out, they decide to spend some time chumming in the marina to net some fresh live bait. After loading up the live well, the boys head out to the reef's edge to a spot that has been producing well for Tucker. Alright, so we're out here. Tried for permit, didn't work out. But now we're gonna get some hammer tails. Get some for dinner tonight. And yeah. We're getting tight. We got some pristine yellowtail baits. So remember how we did it in Key West too, those speedos? You come right here, catch the speedos. I bet if you were to go out there in 120 feet, catch the wahoos on the speedos just outside of here. Yeah, boy. Think about it, what do they naturally eat? A speedo. They naturally eat speedos, blue runners, and all that. Yeah, you know those little things that come up like at a million miles an hour on your chum bag? Those are the speedos. They look like giant cigars. Also, you can troll like dead Benita. Oh yeah, you can probably switch that out. We need like a longer leader on that, Mom. Mm -hmm. Did you say dead Benita when I go on him? Yeah. You know that dude on the flats boat? Like, a live, there wow. a live Benita. Oh, it's live that he does? Yeah. I thought he said it was dead. Oh, there you are. There you are. Where? Yellow tail. Never know when a fish is gonna bite. Yo, look at this candy bait, bro. This is the yellowtail schwacker right there. Let me tell you. You throw this thing back there. Let it sink, let it do its Josh. thing a little bit, you know? Let it ride, let it ride. Oh, Tucker's on. We just got eight already? The sharks this are that bad here? There's like two, like... There's two big bull sharks. Nice yellow. Dude, that was a grouper. That was a grouper. <laughs> that could have been a big black grouper, Tucker. I'm serious. Oh, I'm good. telling you, they're here. That's a good eater right there, Tuck. Oh, yeah, good eater. Yo, good eater. What, what, what happened to him now? Hey, so you see that? He's all tore up and stuff. A big black grouper down there. Smoked. Yeah, I think that big black grouper or something got him. You see them teeth right there? Big Kuberas on the reef here will try and eat your yellow tail. Oh, yeah. You know what? Bro, if Tucker we... wants to say, listen, listen, listen. Tucker wants to save his 50 pound black down there for no, May 1st. Hold on, for May 1st. But let me tell you, don't let me sneak down that young thing. Don't, don't catch him, bro. Don't let I'm me. Wait, I'm waiting for for May 1st so I can get him in the boat. Don't let me bro. slip this young tail down there. He's gonna get bit. No, bro. Still alive, my big, though. My big black group, bro. Nah, boy. Today here, me and old Captain Tucker are gonna be doing a little competition. 
We're gonna see who can catch more yellowtails, the bigger yellowtails, the most. See who can do it all. And the winner? Yep, winner gets a free lunch. Hell no. Yep. You're winning, so why are you worried? I ain't buying you lunch. Sounds like you're worried. Sounds like somebody. Baby. You gotta show me your secret swap. Yeah. Let me put my beer in here. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. It's going down the hatch. Oh yeah, we getting them up. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, oh, hey, oh my god. Muse, man. Wow! Look at that! Smoke That's a slugger right there. Oh, yeah. Nice, Mingy. Gordo, Gordino, Gorda. What happened to you taking my pilchers? I thought you only wanted shrimp. What'd you catch on it? A pilchy? You know, you're just not doing it right. It's not doing it right, man. Maybe one day I'll teach you something. Yeah, one day. The hook pulled out so easily. Like, if I let any slack, that thing would've got off. Yeah, so next time when you see me with a big fish, I think you want to help me so I don't get off. Another good one, what another good one. Off? What do you got? What I got, what I got? No, another mangy. Get it, get it, get it. In get the it! Boat, in the boat, in the boat. Yeah! Nice job. Dude, there's probably some Gordos down there, bro. Mangies are down there. That's probably what keeps smoking you. Oh, yeah. Another big mang. Big mang. Dude, they're here. They're coming. Oh yeah, so usually like these mangies, they'll usually come during like, you know, starting of June, maybe like late May or something like that. And then, then they start boiling, they start spawning, and there'll be a bunch of these bad boys out here, so. And some early snappers. Tuck is beating me and Mop 3-0, so. You gotta make something happen, me and Mop, Mop and I. They're down there, boys. Tuck is tight. Yeah. Hammer tail, hammer tail, yeah, that's me. What you know about that, JC? Yo, I was tangled with you, watch out. You watch out, boy. Oh, he said I like to. Look at that. Oh, oh. I like me a little bit of tug. Look at, look how big that thing is. Yo, goddamn. So we're out here fishing and we just got a call from Miss Betty from the turtle hospital and uh, she said she needed help with helping out a turtle and we're gonna finish out catching these last couple of yellowtails and then we're gonna be gone, help Miss Betty catch this turtle, save it, and let it free. So what do you think about that? Then we can go check out the turtle hospital, see what oh, happens. Oh yeah, that'd be there. really cool, man. I haven't been to the turtle hospital yeah, since I was like eight years so old. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Last bait, last bait, last bait. All right, you better make it follow the chunk. What a last one to end on, bud. What a good one to end on, buddy. Yeah. All right, JC Mob, you guys owe me your lunch. I guess I do owe you lunch. I guess I owe you lunch, okay. What you want? Okay. All right. Now let's go save this turtle for the boys. So we had just made it to Duck Key. We had got word that the turtle has been swimming around here. We just need to find him now. Not sure what's wrong with him yet, but we're gonna See if we can just help out and see if we can find this turtle. A couple other boats out here looking with us. So. 
see if we can make some out. Yeah, he's over here. I saw him. He's right here. Uh, right, right in the bow of the boat. He's sitting on top. This little dude right here is gonna be a tough one to catch. He's been coming up, coming down, coming up, coming down, but I tell you what, having this tower will help you out finding him. This turtle popped up a couple times and like we'll get close to it, but it always went down. So we're just gonna wait till we get the right opportunity to get it. I'll always try this out for like another 15, 20. But if it doesn't work out, then we're gonna go to the turtle hospital. So yeah, they've been looking for this turtle for a year now. They've seen them six times. It's probably their seventh time. And, uh, you know, people have been saying like they stay on the surface for like 20 minutes, you know, and that's not regular for a turtle. So there's probably something wrong with her. So her name is uh, Casper, you know, because they barely even see her. She's a ghost. So we're gonna keep trying. Casper, where are you? Where you at, Casper? What happened? So, what happened? We had made our rounds. We'd see him come up and down, up and down. And I I should have went slower, but I was going a little too fast and the turtle was right there, right in front. And that net's pretty heavy. It's a, it's a big wide net. So when you put it in the water, it drags. So I really didn't put that into, mo into my mind. So when they put that net in the water, well, I was going pretty fast towards this next to this turtle and the turtle just went just under the net and gone again come back tomorrow or another time see if we can't get it we're about to start making our way back and go to the turtle hospital and see all the turtles they have saved and uh, go see what they got going on over there I've heard it's a pretty cool spot and gonna go check it out The Turtle Hospital is located in Marathon, Florida, along the Overseas Highway near Mile Marker 48, and offer guided education experiences to the public seven days a week. Their main goals are to rehab injured sea turtles and return them to their natural habitat, conduct and assist with researching aiding to sea turtles, and to educate the public through various outreach programs. On to his back. This was actually the original bubble butt, so the bubble butt syndrome what? is a positive buoyancy disorder and most of the time it's from boat strikes. So it's really important when you're out there on the boat. I know you guys do wear good polarized glasses and have somebody spotting for these animals that breathe air like we do. Um, they breathe through a hole in their tongue, similar to a bird called an epiglottis. Whoa. And that's where they take air. So you'll see them surface for air, just like a manatee or a dolphin. And any guess how long they can stay underwater? 15 minutes. Five hours. Five hours? Five hours. If they're in a restful state, they can go down there. I get calls from divers saying, this turtle's stuck under the reef. I says, no, he's just chilling. <laughs> so up to five hours. That's wild, because I'll see him under the reef sometimes, and I pull him out thinking they're stuck. Yeah, and then he goes, <laughs> yeah and they're and like, he hey, sleeping. And sea turtles are the oldest animal known to man. So they were in the oceans when dinosaurs were on the land, which is crazy to think yeah. about. Are resilient, but that's why people say, Why sea turtles? Why I care about sea turtles? Well, not only are they important to our marine ecosystems, but they were on the planet with dinosaurs, and yeah. the fact that they're in danger of being extinct on our watch is kind of frightening. Yeah, um, they're an indicator species, so you kind of look at sea turtles and you see what the health of our marine ecosystems are. And when you see these horrible tumors coming out of our ocean, you you know, it makes you take pause, but that's why we study them. We fix turtles, but we also study to see where these diseases are coming from. In the Florida Keys, I would say the majority of what we see are human impacts. So that's either um, fishing gear entanglement, ingestion, both strikes, and these horrific tumors, um, fibropathomatosis, 
which over 50% of our green sea turtle population in and around the Keys has it. It's found around the world, around developed islands, um, which pretty much tells you everything you need to know. Um, it's just recently there's been studies that we were part of out of University of Florida that showed that the tumors have the same genetic vulnerabilities as human cancer. Um, so we're actually doing chemotherapy treatments on these turtles as well. It's, so it's a very exciting time in human medicine. Dude, yeah, so you. that's oh, a logger. No one's missing a fin. I am telling yeah, you. That good. is Curtis. Curtis just came in. Well, well, we found it like that big. That big. Wow. And like you look kind of like this guy. So oh, here, so this is a Caps Ridley, which is very rare for our parts, but that did come in from the Upper Keys. Really? And we have mac and cheese. Mac and um, cheese. They're what we call our educational turtles. So we have them on a special permit where they'll go out to the seafood festival and out to schools to teach kids about turtles. That's the only cock's bill we have. Oh, oh so look at beautiful. that. Beautiful. Isn't he gorgeous? Yeah, he's gorgeous. So cute. So I'm just going to give them a little scrub. So out in the ocean, how do they keep their shells clean? You guys know? No. They rub on the coral reefs and there's little cleaner shrimp and cleaner fish that help to keep them clean. And so here at the turtle hospital, we don't have them. <laughs> so we yeah. use a little toothbrush on these little guys. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little spa day. Who doesn't like a little massage? Look at that, buddy. Yeah. So, but aren't those colors just stunning? Yeah, that's beautiful. His necks are so funny. Man. And they yeah, they get their name because their beak is shaped like a hawk still. I see their little noses. So another fun fact about sea turtles is their noses are soft like puppy noses. Yeah. And they have a really good sense of smell in the water. Look, he like, yeah, so he likes that. Yeah. And then how do you tell a hawk's bill when, when they're out in the water? Because we do see hawk's bills around here. See how their scoots or these plates on their back, they overlap like shingles on a roof. And that's the hawk's bill is the only one that does that. Okay. That's good enough. Oh, buddy. Raven. So cute. I know. This is the one. I just want to go out and touch them and put it in my lava. Keep, keep them with me every day in my lava. I'll be like, I'll be like, so cute. After their visit with the juvenile turtles, the boys make a quick stop inside the hospital to witness a live blood transfusion and also touch on the importance of keeping our oceans clean. In one little turtle, over 150 pieces of plastic and trash. And oh, in him. In him, they were all in there. He died and my poor staff, because they had done so much, and they're like, what did we do wrong? And I, I kind of suspected plastics. I did the necropsy and I, I went, took time and went through and, and just everything. You can see pieces of ropes and fishing line and all those colors of plastic. So people ask, we do documentaries and they say, well, how big a piece of plastic will kill a sea turtle? And I said, a BB sized piece of plastic can kill a, a little hatchling. It's important to bring in your fishing gear with you. And if I'm out there, God, when I paddle the mangroves, I could, I could spend all day pulling fishing line out of the trees, like trees, you know? Yeah. So um, I taught my kids to just not only bring back your fishing gear, but if you see something out there, try to bring that too, you know? Because yeah. we've all had a hook get hung up and you can't get it in, you know? So. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Betty, I want to thank you for showing us around the Turtle Hospital. I haven't been here in years, and I think it's amazing. I love what you guys do here. And so how can people get involved with helping out the Turtle Hospital and donating and all that? Well, first thing is what you're doing is just learning about sea turtles yeah. and tell all your friends about sea turtles and help people to fall in love with them. And then you can come visit us 365 days a year. We're open to the public. So you can come on Christmas, New Year's, Easter. We're always open, always here taking care of sea turtles. You can follow us online. We have great live feeds on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. And then you can go onto our website at turtlehospital.org. You can buy some totally awesome branded Turtle Hospital gear, and you can learn all about sea turtles. That's awesome. You guys got to come out, come down to the Keys, check out the Florida Keys Turtle Hospital. And uh, right here in Marathon, you see Miss Betty, and she'll get you going. Thank you guys. Thank it's been you totally guys. awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All the apparel worn in this episode is available on reallifegear.com. Join us on the next episode of Real Life Adventures.